Hello again, people. <coughs> Excuse me, I should have done that before I started recording. Um, right, video 32. Um, this is, um, I'm going to load the first picture up. I'll tell you what, we'll start it now. First picture coming up in your corner. Now, right, this is obviously looking at the um, new bridge that carries the tram um, over. As you can see on the right hand side, um, that's the biggest shot of the rads. You can you can plainly see the the, the far end, um, the original building, and um, that has the roof on it, which is most of it's missing. Um, I hope you like the pictures in the last ones of the um, shrubbery and plants um, and that growing inside. That's fantastic. Please, 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 open the rads up again. Make it a club again. Just buy it, do it up. It'd be fantastic. Even if it was just for nostalgia for a few years, I'd love it. It'd be brilliant. Anyway, you can see that part, <coughs> and then. Uh, leading in front of that, when it's just a flat roof, that must have been, I gather, the tap room and I suppose the committee room or whatever, you know, that had been built on, um, uh, I suppose, after. And then just before that, I think that's the uh, mosque. There used to be a mosque there as well, which um, before then was some sort of church um, or some sort of like little church, not proper church, but like a kind of a meeting place. I'm not sure what it was. If whoever remembers, please um, email me, let me know. Um, all I remember is, I know a girl from school when I was ooh, five or six, and um, she said she was having, they were having a, a party there for some reason. I don't know if it was Easter or birthday or whatever. And I don't know, it, it, she, I said, can I come? And she said, yeah. And I remember telling my mum, and I remember going there. And when I got there, they, would, they, they knew nothing about me going, but I think they let me in anyway. And I remember sitting there with all these uh, other kids eating ice cream and, and jelly and, and in this party. But it seemed to be weird. I think it was some sort of different celebration to what I don't know uh, whether it was Catholic or whether it was something else I'm not so sure but um, that's the only time I remember going in and it was weird because it was like they, they were like tables but, but with like pews instead of seats we'd just sit on like you know the pew at the back and then the, the wooden bit at the front and there was a bit of a table to sit on or and that was strange really strange but that's all I remember for that um, but yeah this is this is really just the canal um, as we walk back um, you know, because we could go from the rads most of the time. We, you know, we went the roadway. We went past the shops and banners and Markway models and stuff. Because I insisted, but you can actually, you know, oh, I suppose go down where uh, Pinfold Bridge is and go down the walkway. Whereas I'm going now, you know, and that'll bring you out onto um, Sherland Lane Bridge. So that's the first picture. The second picture coming up now is this one. Um, this is showing you um, from the last one behind me, really, and it's saying um, obviously um, pin. Uh, there's a little sign on there that says, um, "Just bring it so I can read it." It's a Sheffield and Tinsley, Tinsley Canal number seven. So I gather it's bridge number seven, and it says Pinfold Bridge rebuilt AD 1926. And um, I know I've read on the forums and when I've been doing a. I've done a, trying to research a bit of history about Benjamin Huntsman and about the area because I'm hoping to do a project on Benjamin Huntsman and the steelworks and how everything started, you know, and how the area got built and developed, you know, what, what people lived in, what we lived in, sort of thing then. Um, so, uh, but I do know before this, it was a, it was a smaller, thinner bridge, and it was it, it was like two cart tracks going over, you know, because a lot of it was fields all the way around. It was the main point, and from one to the other, and then obviously with the traffic, they rebuilt it. So. And um, in the further in the distance from there, you can see like um, another metal bridge. I believe this this is another one that's built after, which allows you to obviously walk across from one side to the other. So um, yeah, that's the original bridge behind. Well, I mean, one thing I do remember is uh, when we did, because I used to love as a kid, is to go over um, Sherland Lane on the walkway here and walk right into the town as far as you could to the canal basin. I mean, that was brilliant. And I used to try and keep as close away from the edge as, as it was. Because as you walk, if you look near the edge of the canal, do you're the same, do you find yourself being drawn closer, like you're walking near the edge? And it was just have this, like, I suppose, fear of falling in and <clears throat> the weeds pulling me under. And I think that's what my dad used to say, you know, don't you go near that canal, because if you fall in there, don't care how strong a swimmer they are, then weeds will pull the under, you know, sort of thing. But I couldn't swim then anyway, so I used to keep to the side. But when we go into a bridge like this, you know, it used to echo, so you'd be walking through going, bing, 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 making as many noises as you could, kind of like that, but I suppose uh, less adult. And um, just to hear it echo, and then you'd chuck um, stones in the water as well, because where you can see the reflection there, 
and it's like a real reflection because of the darkness of the shadow and you chuck it and you just watch the, the mirror image just ripple and then you watch the ripples go out that was another fascinating thing as well chucking stones in the canal and watching it ripple until the ripples eventually hit the banks and they'd mop against the bank and all, everything would move all the grass and stuff and then you'd st stand there and just wee elbows on the wall like that and just just watch until you know eventually the last ripple had gone it'd settle again who needed television in them days three channels never needed them got me own entertainment Whew. got me playstation me xbox me gamecube me 360 now though <laughs> now i have anyway so um yeah that's pinfall bridge um next picture going to be coming up now this one is a little bit further up is just well you can see the rads are just on the right hand side and this is the new bridge that's been built um, for the tramway which takes you into town and um, it's well basically you know it's it, it you know the, there's a couple of these as you can see there's one just after it as well so it's various crossing points I mean this is the tram one and I got the other ones a foot one there's so many foot bridges you know where you can go across um, <coughs> excuse me because that second one over there the second foot bridge is the actual the one uh, which will be coming up in the next next photograph anyway of um, it's kind of where the tram stop is just above um, top of Sherland or the right hand side of Sherland Lane uh, when I originally started with the first photograph there's a footbridge that takes you over because there's the, uh, um, the works you know I think there's a I don't know what it is now but there used to be a I like a little electricity plant just over there as well and I gather these various um, other buildings so that's the second bridge um, just looking at the other photographs I've got here where it ends what I'll do is um, I'll stop this one now and then I'll load it up for part two and it'll be the uh, next couple of pictures oh.